Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Visio. In this session, I want to have a look at a data flow diagram. So you can see it here in recently used diagrams. But if I come down and show you where it is, it's in software and database. If I go into there, and then you've got the data flow diagram. Click on that, create, and it gives you a simple stencil. So you haven't got loads of stencils. So basically, you've got an external interactor. So this is where the database sits in a, in a system. It's not actually the processes or the people who do the job. So first off, I'm going to create an external interactor, and I'm going to zoom my screen up a little bit so we can see what's going on. So the process um, I'm going to use is an inquiry or a booking for a training course. So if, if I just type this, double-click in there, just customer that that's the customer so then the customer is going to come in to uh, an entity this is just uh, a means of you can either get circular ones or these rectangular ones but I'm just going to create this and start numbering this so this is just the process really so um, the process will be the booking that's the booking so the data comes in so connector comes in and as soon as you move to this shape, you can see there's lots and lots of different connecting points there. Uh, a lot more than you would normally get on some of the other shapes. Because you, this is a data flow diagram, so you can basically have um, data coming in and out from the same shape. So there's lots of connection points on this, which is great. So when the booking comes in, it comes in in two forms, actually. So um, I've already made a mistake there. So... It comes in via telephone or email. So I need to do two um, options. So I'll go telephone and then another one, email. I'll just move this out of the way in a minute. Let's just not move that over there. So that's email, like so. So if I just get rid of this link, push it into there, and then I need another connector to go into that one. Don't like the way that's doing that, so let's have a quick look at what's happening there. Yeah, it's also. So one line from that one, snap it onto there. I want another one coming in, take it from a different connector point into email. So those are the two main flows, and then they come into um, this process there. Now, from that process, just take that off a minute, we have some data storage going on here. So what happens is you have a data storage going on. So that would be... The email would sit in the, I'll call that the database. Database. So the, the record would be created in the database and it would go into a specific table. So um, a table within that database, if you like. So if I call that um, new customer, so the, that would go into the new customer table within that database. Like so, and it is actually going into the database, so I'll just put it like that. So whichever way um, the data comes in, customer telephones, um, so I'll change this actually to uh, inquiry. Inquire. So required it goes into their new customer table right so from there if they um, book a course it's another process so let's say this is the booking so this will be two two point zero and booking so they are going from new customer to book so come out of there, 
into booking. Take that for a minute. So they book the course. What happens there is there another process. So they would get a confirmation of booking. So this will be this bit at the top there, 3.0. You don't have to do this, but it's um, confirmation of booking. Now, you, this is not a simple process. You have to check this over and over again that the actual flow of the data is correct. So confirmation of booking will come from there to there. So let's do that. And it will also come out of the database. Now, this is where the lines get a bit tricky. So you're using the database to do this confirmation booking. And then from the confirmation of booking, it goes back to the customer. Let's go back to that one there. So that's the communication line there. See, it gives you nice little bridges there, so it looks quite cool. Now, confirmation of booking. So the next stage would be deliver the training. So what happens there? So you go and do the training. So this is going to be four. Point zero, call it just training. Um, so the, and then after training, you're gonna have an invoice. So let's do the invoice. Let's get it lined up a little bit with the um, customer. So this is gonna be five. So this is the simple processes here. Invoice. Now, I might not have enough space here. Let's have a look what I've got. Yeah, I have. So the invoice, let's do the invoice first. The invoice goes to the customer. So from the invoice, I'll just go straight up to the customer. And it also comes out of the database. So the database comes out of that. So I need to move this out of the way a little bit. The actual event of delivering the training. So when you confirm the booking, you deliver the training. So delivering training has got um, venue booking. So the data would be to, there's one missing there. So this could be, let's call this venue booking. And the venue booking also comes out of the database. Out of that one, just stick it into the top of there. Venue booking, and then that would be then there would be training there. So, entity, I'll make that. Um, this will have to be five, and I have to change that number 5.0 training. And just put a, so you book the training, you inform the customer, and then the cost from the training the invoice is generated. So training once the training is complete, the invoice is generated. So that is a email back to the database. Oh, it's just a process that people would be filling in there and then I need to change that number because it's the same as that so put that to 6.0 so now what you do is you go through this process in your head and you check that this is the right flow so it's the data I think um, the issues you get is confusing the actual data path to the processes themselves so the telephone call customer may do a telephone call comes into in, in this group from there you you put it into the database as a new customer and then you confirm the booking and then the, um, the confirmation of booking goes back to the customer and then through a confirmation of booking you are booking the venue so there should be a line coming down there as well it's the database that's generating this but if I push a line down to the to the venue booking and then you book in, you are then um, delivering the training, and from there that generates an invoice, 
and the invoice comes from the database so that's where that's coming from there the database and then finally that goes back to the customer so that's um, a very simplistic quick look at a data flow diagram and with your own diagrams you can make these as complicated or as simple as you wish the symbols are quite straightforward this is one type with, with a rectangle there is another one that uses circles it's totally up to you but it's the it's the flow and the data stores that you would have so in my particular business I've just got a one database and a table for customers and I have I've have got a table for invoices as well actually so I could add an extra data store there and instead of in fact I will just do that right now um, and I'll put it over here just in case so invoice table now once you've got all the connections I think the best thing to do then is so that would go into the invoice as a data the invoice gets stored in there which is part of that database so I've got to go back up there to the database put it into the top so you can see this can get quite complicated if your layout's not correct and if I if I move for example that database down the screen into this space it may make the diagram better or worse and I'm not sure if that does so let's just push it down to the bottom maybe that's a bit clearer uh, possibly a little bit clearer because then that connector there doesn't have to go on the top it can go where can I put that mm, down the bottom maybe yeah so even just moving it slim simply down there like that makes it a little bit um, tidier and, and to be fair the, the venue booking would also be stored in a bookings table so I could put that in there um, bookings table it's decided to stick itself there um, don't really want this to be part of that to be honest get off so from there you would do a connector to your bookings table that's where it's stored and that also goes to the database like so uh, and basically that's all I'm going to do because I'm just messing about now that's um, an example of a data flow diagram so I hope you enjoyed that and got the gist of it and I'll see you in the next one thank you for your time